Hello everybody, this is Chris14 aka Cleffa Notes and welcome to another tutorial um, show where I'm going to be showing you how to work with Apple Loops and software instruments. So let's begin. So first of all what we're going to be doing is we're going to be browsing through the loop section um, and this is located just in the bottom right hand corner and when you click on that it will bring up this section here. So for this demonstration all I'm going to do is I'm just going to preview the uh, software loop or the real instrument track which sounds like this sounds pretty funky so all you need to do is drag this on the timeline like this and as you can see it's put the track on the timeline Alternatively, if you want to start on a new track, um, you click on track, then you click on new track, and then you click on the real instrument section, and this bit's for recordings um, and preset Apple loops, which I've just shown you now. Um, so if you click create, and this automatically opens up a new loop for you. So in this case, you can add another one. So you click on the bottom right hand side here, and then say you want to put this one on, you drag this one on here. Okay so now we've learned how to use the preset Apple loops, let's um, use some software instruments. So in this case um, we've got one here, sounds pretty funky too, so if we stop that and this time you'll see it's going to create a green software instrument track and in this case you'll be able to edit each individual note such as this but we're not going to do that I'm just going to show you how to work with the loops and just to create them on the track um, alternatively if you want to create a real instrument track um, to possibly reduce the CPU workload on your computer all you need to do is click real instrument and then you literally just drag the section onto there and it will convert the track that you've just done so this is the software instrument side and then this is the real instrument side this is great if you've got an older older Mac like a you know like an iBook or a an old MacBook Pro which can't run a lot of software instruments it reduces the CPU workload and the RAM workload so you can have more efficient projects but do bear in mind you cannot edit the tracks individually or change the notes inside of them once it's been converted. Okay so now we've learned how to convert real instruments and software instruments let's begin on showing you how to loop the um, Apple loops. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a new project on there, well a new sample and we're just going to drag it on there and this will put it on the timeline for you and it will sound like this okay so to drag the actual loop and make it go further you need to hover to the right hand section of the Apple loop and you click and drag and it does that for you say for instance you want to keep just those four bars there all you need to do is click edit split or command and T on your keyboard and then if you want to delete that you just click the backspace key and it deletes that section yet again we're going to loop that section there we go that sounds good so that concludes today's episode of working with software and real instruments thank you guys for watching take care now goodbye